NBA fans, welcome back to my channel, Jordan vs. LeBron. Now, let's get into this because we've been hearing a lot that Jordan was a, a quitter. And LeBron, he fulfilled his contract. Woo! Boy, this is the... <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. This is the first nine seasons of a quitter according to the LeBron fans so here we have Nick Wright saying who cares if your stats and awards are unmatched LeBron never quit on his team wow so we're going to get into these stats of Jordan's first nine seasons in the NBA uh, the regular season the playoffs in the NBA finals Woo! As far as I knew, you know, back in the 90s, we only heard about Jordan retiring. We never heard nothing about Jordan quitting. He went up to the podium and he said he was retiring. LeBron, he said he was taking his talents here or going back home or this and that and that and this. So he quit on his team. When you lose and go to another team and build super teams because you lost in the playoffs or the finals, you quit on your team. And a lot of people be like, well, no, he, he fulfilled his contract. Okay. <laughs> he could have he could have got another contract. What are you talking about? He quit on his team and got another super team. No, the first time he went and got a super team. And then second time he went and got another super team. And then the third time he basically was going to build a super team. So, in LA. So we want to consider what Jordan did quitting because he didn't lose. And he had a real good excuse why he retired. His father got murdered and nobody no everybody was like, "Wow. Okay, that how can the man play without his father?" He said he would never play without his father in the stands uh of the home games. So the man retired. So let's get into these numbers of a quitter, so-called Jordan as a quitter. And to me, I'm going to tell you this right now. When you see these numbers of Jordan's first nine seasons, he could have been top five to me, okay? He could have been a top five player of all time. There's players who have no rings in, their, in the Hall of Fame. There's players in the top 10 with only three rings there's players in the top 10 with only two rings so when i combine the accolades in the stats jordan could easily be top five of all time so let's look at this regular season first nine seasons 84 to 93 32 points no, th yeah, 32.3 points per game, 6.3 rebounds, 5.9 assists. You guys said all this guy was doing was shooting. <laughs> 2.7 steals, one block a game. Wow, this is pretty incredible for a guard. Three turnovers, 51.6 field goal percentage, 30.1 three-point percentage on 84.6 free throws. J just incredible numbers. I mean, for a guard to average a block a game, whew, <laughs> it's just incredible. 51.6 from the field, that's, that, what? I mean, this, this guy was unstoppable. And this isn't like LeBron, where LeBron is scoring like 70% of his points in the paint. This guy is shooting probably about 60% of his shots outside the paint. So this guy was unstoppable. And that's why you knew him as, you know, Michael Jordan. And you knew his name and why he had the shoe and everything else in his first nine seasons. The three-point, he wasn't even averaging, attempting one three-point attempt a game. So that wasn't until later on, um, on the second three-peat. And another thing is, if the three-point shot is so important, and you got to have the three how come where, where's curry's scoring titles where's all his scoring titles when have you seen curry just save the game in the playoffs in the finals 
shooting all these threes. I, I, I really don't remember, you know, Curry hitting all these game-winning threes. Um, who else? Durant. Yeah, he shoots a good percentage from three, but again, where's all his scoring titles if the three is so important? All these clay, where's all these guys that shoot all these threes that's averaging all these points um, per game? I, I just, it, it's fool's gold to me. I mean, it's a good shot, but you got to shoot a lot of them just to get a, a good percentage out of it. So it, it, it's whatever. Dudes weren't shooting a three back then because they had game because dudes shoot threes now. They have no game. It's a three-point shooting era. You don't have to have any moves. You don't have to have any post moves. You don't have to have any fundamentals. You don't have to have a lot of stuff in this game. Anybody can really play in this game. Bronny will be in the game next <laughs> next year. He has no game. They'll just throw him in there uh, just to put him in there. That's The NBA isn't about basketball anymore. It's not about fundamentals. It's about entertainment. That's all it's about. When when I was growing up and when many basketball players in the past was growing up, the coach always said, go for the highest percentage shot, shoot the highest percentage shot, which was in the paint, mid range, and then the three, because obviously back then, nobody's going to just like let you sit out there and shoot threes in their face. Okay. <laughs> this era, they'll, they'll let you every time. So we'll get into that in another video. We go to the playoffs, 84 through 93, 34.7 points per game, 6.7 rebounds, 6.6 assists. All Jordan did was shoot the ball. <laughs> and even if that was true, look at what he's shooting it at as a guard. 50%, 51%. I mean, who, would you, who else would you give the ball to? That makes no sense. And if you go back to my other video, LeBron, I, f I forget what it's called. It's something about LeBron is a horrible shooter compared to Jordan. It took LeBron until his seventh season to hit 50% from the field in a season. In a season, it took him seven seasons until he hit 50% for a season. In the, He shot 70% of his shots in the paint. <laughs> he never had a season where he shot 50% from the field until his seventh season. Jordan, for him, he had his first five. Um, he had five seasons where he hit 50% uh, from the field in his first seven seasons. Just an, an, an embarrassment. I mean, and Jordan was, a lot of the seasons he was shooting 51%, uh, 53%. You know, 52%. I mean, come on. LeBron is a horrible shoot. It's really a joke. So, 2.3 steals per game. One block. 3.3 turnovers. 50.1% 50, 50 field goal percentage. 35.2 three-point percentage. And 83.4 from the line. And, you know, Jordan started to get his... Uh, attempts up in the playoffs even though he didn't need to he, he you know and you can see he got up to 35 percent which it's not great but he went up from the regular season so we get into the nba finals three nba finals three p 36 points per game what 6.6 rebounds eight assists per game that's all that dude was doing was shooting, right? He, he didn't pass the ball. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't go for no rebounds. Two, two steals, 0.8 blocks, 3.4 turnovers on 52.8% field goal percentage, 44.3 uh, three-point percentage, and 81.1 uh, one free throw percentage. I mean, what? Bro, you telling me if this man had retired after – after the first retirement, if he would have stayed retired, he would not have been a top five player. I mean, the it, not he he didn't just win three championships; he won three straight. Thirty six points per game. Look at the rebounds, the assist. I mean, <laughs> he could look if he knew about stat padding. I'm trying to tell you right now, this man could have in in his first three finals. He could have averaged 
what, at least 10 assists a game if he wanted to. But they didn't know about stat, stat padding. All Jordan knew is that he wanted to have a greater NBA Finals than anybody. He was Michael Jordan. So he was held to a different standard. And the standard was you had to go into the uh, Finals because this was the 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 game of all game the the series of all series the nba finals so you had to go into those finals and be greater than what magic did in the finals kareem uh bill russell all these type of guys in the past you had to set yourself apart and people be able to say michael jordan had the greatest finals of anybody and we got a video of that coming up soon but this is what he did and i think of all the finals he was in, he set some kind of record. He had some kind of historical performance, except for 96, okay? We, we, we remember 98, 97, the, the flu game, and he hit the game-winning shot in another, um, in another game in that series. You remember 93, the 41 points per game, the shoulder shrug in, in 92, he was just going to hell off one four straight after losing the first one to magic and average 11 assists the game <laughs> plus like what 30 i think it was 35 or 32 points per game it was just wicked jordan just have all these memorable uh final series and that's what he had to live up to he had a you know you just can't come in there like lebron has no memorable um final series oh he beat the warriors that, I mean, what did you do, though? What the, Oh, the chase from behind block. That's it? That's all you got in, in 10 final series? That's all the memories that anybody can remember? We just remember you losing. So let's get down to the bottom here. And we look at these accolades in the first nine seasons. Three championships, which was a three-peat. Three finals MVPs. It wasn't even close. Uh, seven scoring titles. And... Let me see. Defensive player of the year, three MVPs, three steals titles. Um, this is rookie of the year and all-star MVP. So I'm trying to tell you, bro, if this dude had retired, <laughs> if he had, and he did this in a big man era, just remember, if you don't think he was that dominant, who who won when he retired in the 90s? Big man. Who was in the finals in the East when he retired? Big man. Who started winning again when he lost? Um, when he retired in 98? Big man. It, I mean, so he pretty much stopped the dominance of big man uh, centers from winning a guard. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I mean, this is how the game was played back then. So... These are just incredible numbers that the media will never dig up. They, they know the truth, but they won't ever talk about it because it makes LeBron look horrible. And we, 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 we're going to do a comparison soon. LeBron's first nine seasons against Jordan's first nine seasons. And it just makes LeBron look awful. But, man, this, this, this is awesome right here when I, you know, put together stuff like this. And you, you'll never see any numbers like this.